Good evening. On behalf of the Madison County Board of Education, I would like to welcome each of you to the 2020 virtual graduation ceremony for Madison County High School's graduating class. When we started this year back on August the 2nd of 2019, no one could have imagined how the year would end. As we left school on March the 12th, 2020, I had no idea we would not return. My thoughts have been with this senior class each and every day during this time. To the class of 2020, my goal has been to give you the best possible celebration. I know that a ceremony like this is not ideal. I also want you to know that we will do all we can to have an in-person celebration either on June the 20th or July the 19th. I can say for certain that you will most certainly be a class that will always be remembered. Your accomplishments inside and outside of the classroom have exceeded any before you. We are extremely proud of each and every one of you and wish you all of life's blessings as you move on to the next chapter in your life. To the parents of the class of 2020, I wanna say thank you. Thank you for your support and your never ending love for these fine students. I also appreciate your support of our school system. I hope everyone enjoys the ceremony as we honor the class of 2020. And remember, it's always a great day to be a Red Raider. Hello, I'm Demarius Watts, a graduating senior here at the Madison County High School. I would now like to lead you in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please join me in singing our school's alma mater. Sing a song to Madison County High, raise high the bird and gray. Let's give our pledge to be true always. Sing of love and loyalty, honor and glory bright. Sing to her alma mater, the school we love of Madison County High. To the red, to the gray, to the glory of Madison County. Sing to the red, to the gray, to the alma mater. Love always, let us sing to the old, to the glory of Madison sons of old. Let us sing to the new, to the love and pleasure you. Sing a song to Madison County High, raise high the red and gray. Sing, oh comrades, sing joyfully. Let's give up as you be true always. Sing of love and loyalty. Good evening, Red Raider family. My name is Dallas Count, and I'm a teacher here at Madison County High School. I'm incredibly privileged to have been chosen by the 2020 class as Tassel Turner and have been allowed the honor of introducing our speakers for tonight's commencement. I specifically asked for this duty because I couldn't think of a better gig in the world than getting an opportunity to brag on these fantastic young men and women. It truly is a group as diversely talented as I've ever seen. Our first speaker tonight is Taylor Andrews. In the fall, she will be attending the University of North Georgia at Oconee, where she will pursue a degree in early childhood education. Anyone who knows Taylor can tell you that she'll make a fantastic young educator because of her heart for children and her passion for serving others. She put that passion to good use as a cheerleader for the last four years here at the high school, and her coaches are quick to point to her enthusiasm and positive attitude as important traits for Taylor. But, you know, she's a cheerleader. She's supposed to have that. What sets her apart is her fearlessness and humility. One coach remarked that as a member of the squad, there was nothing that she would not attempt, whether she was ready or not. She never let the fear of future failure prevent her from the possibility of success right now. Another coach said that she led through her extraordinary humility. 
Because she always put others before herself, she gained the respect and love of everyone around her. As her teacher last year, I can attest to each of those sentiments. She was a shining light of positive energy who brightened the halls, the classroom, and honestly, the entire school. Our second speaker is Colby Smith. Colby has accepted an athletic scholarship to play football at Presbyterian College, where he will pursue a degree in education in hopes of returning home and continuing the family tradition of coaching. Colby is one of the most talented athletes in recent Madison County history. He was a three-sport star who was named first-team all-region for the past two years and honored by the Athens Banner Herald as a first-team selection, a terrific 10 selection, and the most versatile player in the area. I think versatile is a very important word here because Colby's production in the classroom is no less amazing than his efforts on the field. He is a 4.0 scholar who is ranked fifth in his graduating class of nearly 300. And he can pass AP exams as easily as he can pass footballs for touchdowns. In my 15 years as an educator, I've never seen another student as singularly focused and as driven to achieving his goals as Colby. But the most impressive thing about Colby is that his goals are never really his. He could care less about individual honors that don't further the team development. As such, he represents the best of Madison County. Individual people sacrificing their individual desires because their best desire, their highest desire, is for those around them. Aiden Russell McCorkle is this year's salutatorian. He will attend the Georgia Institute of Technology in the fall where he plans on studying aerospace engineering. Now, I Googled aerospace engineering because we don't get a lot of that around here. And it turns out that, yep, that's building rockets and stuff. But that career is perfectly suited for Aiden because he's never been comfortable being a part of the crowd. Last year in AP Language and Composition, he immediately established himself not just as one of the premier writers in the junior class, but also as one of the most critical minds that the school has ever produced. He is a young man who is not satisfied in simply answering questions. Instead, he seeks to question answers. That sophisticated mind has helped him pass six AP exams and helped him be named the AP Scholar with Distinction. Aiden's genius extends to music, where he has been a member of the District Honor Band for four years, as well as being named drum major, tasked with leading the entire marching band. He also attended the Governor's Honors Program and was named this year's star student. He has countless other accolades, but none of those do justice to the young man behind the mind. Because while he strives to be the best musician and student he can be, he is twice as committed to being the best person he can be, a man of substance and character. Taylor Evans is the valedictorian for the 2020 graduating class. She has accepted a scholarship to study animation at the Savannah College of Art and Design. As valedictorian, it goes without saying that she has a spectacular GPA. And the fact that she has accepted and earned a scholarship to SCAD makes it obvious that she has the test scores to match. But Taylor's most impressive gifts are even rarer than her 1 in 300 intellect. In my Honors American Literature class, as well as my Alternative Forms of Literature class, a class that specializes in film study, she immediately set herself apart. In both of those classes, she showed a level of creative analysis that I've honestly never seen before. In uh, American Literature, she wrote the greatest analysis essay I've ever graded over a topic that she chose herself. ELO's 1981 concept album, Time. That's right, she wrote an eight-page uh, essay over a retro-futuristic science fiction progressive rock album that came out the year I was born. In my film class, she put together the best project I've ever seen, a short film she animated herself set to the 1968 classic rock instrumental, Classical Gas. That's right, she animated a short film herself because the most amazing part of Taylor is that she has the artistic skill to match both her literary and creative abilities. But much like each of these speakers, much like the entire graduating class of 2020, Taylor will do great things with her numerous skills. She'll do greater things with her intellect and effort. But the greatest thing she'll do, she'll do with her heart. I present to you the future. Future social contributors and future lovers of their fellow men. Future teachers, future leaders, future innovators who will literally create life through their illustrations and literally build machines that will take them into the heavens where they will touch the stars. Hello, Raider Nation. We made it. 
We have now accomplished a major milestone in our lives. It seems like yesterday our book bags were bigger than we were, walking into kindergarten, having no idea it was the start to lifelong memories. But as Drake said, we started from the bottom, now the whole team's here. Class of 2020, today is our day. Our day to celebrate and look back on the best years of our life. High school has taught us so many things. Surviving the times without Wi-Fi during standardized testing, how to juju on the beat, creating group messages for academic purposes, how to run across the parking lot just to make it to class on time, even in the pouring rain, and how to perfectly sign your parents' name for enrichment notes. Sorry, not sorry. These crazy times are what forms us into who we are. It may be hard for some to be leaving high school or quite easy for others, but one thing for certain is the ability of the class of 2020 to all come together to support each other no matter what. With thanks to the entire student body and supporters, Madison County got the chance to be Fox 5's Team of the Week. I will always be proud of the hype that our school showed during that pep rally. Screaming louder and prouder than ever as the announcer crowd surfed on live TV. Being chosen for the Fox 5 Team of the Week was incredible, but the support Sean made the experience even more memorable. That day, communities all over got to see the true meaning of a supportive hometown. Making memories is what high school is all about. It is what makes the four years so special. Later on, moments like these are ones that we are going to look back on with a smile on our face. But as one chapter comes to an end, another one opens. Bigger and better things are to come, bigger and better than we can imagine. We, as a student body, have the ability to accomplish anything and everything that we put our minds to. I mean, all in all, we were entering the world when the terrorist threat arose and are leaving high school fighting an invisible enemy. This shows just how strong our class is and how unique we are due to the fact that no one can ever say they had to endure our same struggles. This is what makes us an unforgettable team. One extraordinary team, I must say. Class of 2020, I hope each and every one of you know just how strong and important you are, and I push you to do whatever your heart desires. I strongly believe that each of you will do amazing things, and I cannot wait for your dreams to come true. We have spent the last 12 and a half years together and we will ultimately measure the times we spent together, not in periods or semesters or years, but in the friendships that we made and the times we have shared together. I ask one or maybe two things from the class of 2020. One, never lose your shine and always pursue what makes you happy. And two, I hope to see all of you making your way back to the 50 year class reunion. Peace out Raider Nation. I really did not know how to start this speech. So I figured a quote from my man, Dr. Seuss, would be appropriate. You're welcome, Cal. The legend himself made it clear that you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose, you're on your own, and you know what you know, and you are the one who'll decide where to go. Graduates of MC, we've always been told that high school is supposed to be some of the best years of our lives, and I can confidently say that these have been the best four years of my life. I've had the opportunity to gain many friendships, participate in numerous sports, and even twerk in the middle of the football field wearing a pair of self-cut blue jeans that I know had to go against Dr. Action's powder puff dress code. Also, I apologize to anyone who had to witness that, especially if you saw Lucas Childers. However, memories like that are the ones that I will cherish forever, not just because we were being young and dumb, but because we were gathered as a class, dancing, cheering, and most importantly, just being kids. I felt, I've always felt like that is what has defined our class more than anything, just our innate ability to come together and be ourselves, and possibly the fact that we are having a virtual graduation. Anyways, the point is, always be yourself, because the, diver the diversity among us ultimately makes us stronger. This is one of the biggest things high school has taught me. In a few months, we will all be applying our life lessons from these past four years, but do not let that scare you. One of my favorite actors, Robert Downey Jr., even said that part of the journey is the end. This might be true, but little does he know, ours is just beginning. These past four years have not disappointed, but I'm going to make sure the next four are even better than the four after that and the four after that. I challenge each of you to do the same. Do not get me wrong, this new journey is not going to be easy. We are all going to face our fair share of trials and tribulations, but no matter what we may face, it is not going to be anything that an MCHS graduate cannot handle. We are all facing the tribulation of having our graduation nearly taken. 
but that is not going to stop us from throwing our caps up in the air. I'm always going to be proud to be a part of this class and the many things that we have accomplished. We may not be walking across that stage at the Classic Center tonight, but I have no doubt that we will be just like the Beatles and Aerosmith and come together again soon. Nevertheless, Class of 2020, we have done it. Once a Red Raider, always a Red Raider. Thank you, and God bless. You know, I've never quite been one for speeches. A not insignificant part of me considered having that be my entire speech, but I feel like that might have upset some important people like my family and friends and teachers. So I came up with a little bit more. Anyways, we did it. Well, we mostly did it. We about 75% did our senior year, and as one of the seniors my sophomore year proudly told me, C's get degrees, or in our case, diplomas. And they were hard-earned diplomas, all things considered, earned through blood, sweat, and tears. Though truth be told, hopefully not a lot of that first one. Despite all the struggle, frustration, and various other emotions, all of us here have succeeded, and that is something to be extremely proud of. But unfortunately, that struggle doesn't end here. Life goes on. Some of us will be moving on to college, some to full-time jobs, and some of us will have to do both. There are going to be difficult days ahead, regardless of what path you choose. We will each be faced with challenges that are completely new to us, and if you ask anyone over 20, I doubt they'd tell you that life gets any easier. I wish I could remember who told me this so that I could give them some credit, but someone once told me that one of the most important things that will get us through the hard times is remembering the good times, and I fully believe that. High school may not have been 100% great at every turn, but I would guarantee that every single one of us has made good memories, whether it be in band, football, baseball, chemistry, or vaping in the car at 7.30 in the morning. We've all made good memories in this chapter of our lives, and while it might be coming to an end, the people we've met in this chapter will still be there with us in the next one. Regardless of where we are in life, whether it be in those hard times or even in the good, there's only one way we will make it through, and that's together. Together with the wonderful people we've met here, and with the wonderful memories we've made along the way. Okay, first off, I want to thank everyone who's led me to where I'm standing today, including but not limited to God, who sustained me through my hardships, my family, who provided constant support for me, my friends who accompanied me in my endeavors, and Sometimes hard to distinguish from my friends, I would like to thank all of my teachers for pushing me to do my best and for helping me learn while treating me like family. When I list all of these people, it really clarifies just how many people play roles in a person's life. Everyone has different abilities, different interests, different backgrounds, and when we as a people put those differences together, we become a functioning body. A body can't live with just a head or an arm or a leg. It needs all of its parts to work all of the way. Just like that, I wouldn't have been able to stand here if it weren't for the influence that other people have had on me throughout my life, whether at home, at school, or someplace else. Since we all have such strong influence on the direction of each other's lives, it stands to reason that none of us are more valuable than anyone else. No, you don't necessarily have to have high grades to play an important role, the role you're supposed to play in the lives of others. Some of us indeed are more academic than others, but those who are may not necessarily have the skills to construct buildings with wood and metal for people to make memories in. Not all of us have an athletic gift like our football players who provide us a great team to root for and take pride in. Even more, some people may be unskilled in the areas I mentioned before, but have an artistic ability that presents the rest of us with beautiful paintings, music, writing, and film. We try to rank the value of each other's skills, saying that you can only be someone if you do X and Y, but it's simply not true. I remember once when I was little, it was our last night at Disney World, and we were leaving the park, and I was bawling my eyes out because I didn't want to go. The ice cream lady saw me and came over with an ice cream to give to me as she cheered me up with kind words. 
She wasn't some groundbreaking doctor or scientist who everyone praised. She was working at a food stand in a theme park. But she changed my day for the better. She was special, and she used her skills to simply give me a snack to make me happier. Just like you all are special, and no matter what your skills are, you are meant to use them to help others in your own ways. And because all of us are so clearly important for each other, it stands to reason that we should not only value one another, but also communicate and listen to what others have to say. I think that what we've just been through has perfectly exemplified this. If the world would have heard the voices of those who first warned how devastating this sickness to, could be, if it would have taken a more serious coordinated approach and responded more appropriately, then this would have likely ended sooner and with less casualties. If the people who knew the full extent in the beginning would have communicated instead of trying to play it down, we may have taken it more seriously and saved time and lives. If we didn't waste our time looking at one another as fools, ridiculing people and making excuses for our own shortcomings, if we worked together instead of against each other, then we would be better off. So now I give it to you all to consider. Every one of us has certain skills for a reason. Abilities we're meant to use to benefit not merely ourselves, but one another. Because of this, let's start placing value on others, their abilities, their sacrifices, and their words. We're entering the real world, guys. So let's work together to make it a better one.
Good evening, honored guests, our graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to the Madison County High School 2020 graduation ceremony. Before I begin, I would like to recognize several guests who are in the virtual audience. I would like to acknowledge first the Board of Education. The members include Dr. Robert Hooper, Ms. Brenda Moon, Ms. Cindy Nash, Ms. Angie McGinnis, and Mr. Byron Lee. Thank you for your vision, your support, and your guidance. As a result, we have much to be grateful for in Madison County. To our central office staff, your dedication to providing resources, data, and opportunities we need for our students. A special thank goes, thanks goes to Mr. Michael Williams, our superintendent, whose is his service is appreciated for all students. To the elementary and middle school staffs, your dedication and guidance would not make any of this possible without you. To the teachers and staff of Madison County High School, your dedication, regardless of the circumstances, has been proven over and over, so thank you. Dear graduating students of the class of 2020, this spring, your last semester on our campus is a time I know you and your families have been anticipating for many years. For some, other than earning your diplomas, this milestone marks the closing of one chapter and opening another. It was a gateway to the next. For all of you, though I am fully aware that the actions to prevent COVID-19 spread has caused a disruption in the special semester, as well as some anxiety and concern. I am heartbroken as you enter your final months at Madison County High School, the multiple opportunities to celebrate your crowning achievements has been impacted by this global condition. I know that many of you have successfully navigated challenging situations in the past, and while this one is both historic and unique, I am confident that we will be a resilient community and each of you will persevere. Indeed, we all will learn much from this extraordinary challenge because history has found you. In a column, Caitlin Flanagan, a writer for The Atlantic, shares her thoughts on the commencement of 2020. She wrote, thought you were free, but history found you. Even though this column was written from the perspective of a college graduation and with her own children in mind who are also graduates of 2020, I thought here as a high school graduation, it too would be fitting. I would like to read some of that to you now. Class of 2020, as I stand here on this glorious spring morning, wearing my day pajamas and staring out the window at my garbage cans, I can't help but think something is wrong. Isn't there supposed to be some sheet cake involved? Not this year, I guess. This has been a season of terrible losses. People have lost their lives and their families are grieving. Others have lost their jobs, their savings, and their plans for the future. Many of you, I know, have suffered these things too. With losses on that order, it might seem frivolous to feel sad about losing your graduation ceremony. But I do not think so. A graduation is a big deal. It's important. And for many decades, we have celebrated in the same formal way with pomp and circumstance and lexicon of special terms like academic regalia, processing down the aisle, and conferring of degrees. We want this day to be distinct, unmistakable, and linked to countless ceremonies of the past. No matter how many graduations I attend, and no matter how much of a hassle it is to find a parking space, catch the shuttle bus, and find a seat, when the line of graduates finally appears and they begin the last long walk as a student, I feel like I might cry, but you won't have this special event four years in the making. And why not? Because history found you. 
an event that will change the way we live was sweeping around the globe and it found you. As your long, strange spring break was extended week after week, the truth began to settle in. You were never going back to your campus, not as a student anyway. That part of your life had ended and you never got to say goodbye to it. To summarize the next part of the col column, she describes her dad's acceptance into Amherst College and being free for some of the repressive ideals as a child. She continues to point history found her father too. The year was 1941. She describes the reaction to the bombing of Pearl Harbor and the number of young men who walk into town and enlist. Growing up, her dad did not talk much about his experience during World War II, and she had little interest. But at some point, she did ask about the students affected by this sudden shift in our nation. She continues, But I did not think about the story of all the young men who walked away from college and toward a war. But once I did ask my dad, Dad, on that day, when you went into town and enlisted in the Navy, what did you do after that? He looked at me as though I'd, I had asked a silly question. He simply said, I went to class. And that's what you did too. You went to class. You went to class in your childhood bedrooms and at your parents' kitchen tables and sitting on the steps just to find a little piece of privacy. You did it with computers and Zoom and group chats. You wrote papers, you took notes during lectures, you did experiments on virtual labs, and you tackled complex problems. It would have been easy not to do this. People all over the country were talking about how short the attention span had become and how they can't read books anymore and how they hovered near televisions watching frightening news and wondering what would happen next. It would have been very easy to slide into Netflix, Instagram, and worry. But you, who we celebrate today, you did not give up. You kept going. And now in this strange situation, without pomp and circumstance, with just me and my daytime pajamas, and in your childhood bedroom, scattered far away from all your friends, you expected to be with this on this important day. You have become graduates. And for that, we are grateful. Because we need you. We need the poets, the philosophers, the scientists, the artists, the engineers, the historians, writers, and business people. Most of all, we need the free thinkers because now more than ever before, we need people who can look at the world in a rational way and make decisions based on facts and reason. I wish I could give all of you the graduation you deserve. I wish I could give your parents and grandparents, aunts and uncles, the chance to hear your name ring out and see you walk across the stage to receive your diploma. I wish we could gather afterwards and eat some of that sheet cake and take pictures and celebrate what we have accomplished. But maybe you've gained something more important than that. Maybe, as a very young people, you know something powerful, that you've been tested and you did not falter. You kept going. And although you're entering into a different world from what you expected, it's a world that needs you and because a commencement speech is supposed to contain some kind of essential information, some piece of wisdom passed down from an aged speaker to a youthful listening listener, here it is. Nothing is in life is better than being needed. I know, and your parents know, and your teachers know that you are ready for what lies ahead. Because you are the great class of 2020 and you did not give up. Congratulations to the class of 2020 of Madison County High School. Thank you. At this time,
I would like to recognize three students in the class of 2020. As Mr. Dallas Cowan has already mentioned, one is our valedictorian, that is Ms. Taylor Evans, our salutatorian, which is Mr. Aiden Russell McCorkle, and the third award, which is the Good Citizenship Award. This award is voted on by the class of 2020. And this award goes to Ms. J.C. Belk. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you. Taylor Brooke Evans. Aiden James Russell McCorkle. Taylor Brianne Andrews. Caroline Bess Barrett. Caroline Grace Beach. Cassie Noel Beam. JC Caitlin Belk. Abby Danielle Berryman. Kaylee Grace Bradbury. Eric Bravo Somoyeda. James Russell Bray. Cheyenne Carmen Carroll. Leslie Johanna Cervantes Arellano. Bailey Hope Cleveland. McKenna Aaron Coyle. Gretchen Elizabeth Collier. Carly Ann Crow. Sean Landon Darty. Garrett Wayne Dowell. Kara Jean Drake. Matthew Hart Dudley. Carly Jade Evans. Courtney Danielle Faulkner. Orlando Junior Garfias. Lila Kate Golden. Logan Dale Griffith. Mm -hmm. 
Jordan Alexandria Hanley, Milton Hernandez Flores, Brooklyn Avery Hooper, Brooke Jamerson Howell, Landon Wayne Huntsinger. Carrie Elizabeth Janosik, John Waylon Johnson, Harrison Michael Kirkland. Landine Claire Krolikowski. Noelia Lara. Haley Elizabeth Larkin. Faith Alicia Lewis Madison Danielle Maney Adam Franklin Metz Lakin Montana Minish Cable Dale Moore Carly Elizabeth Morris Allie McCall Nash Juliana Evelyn Nichols Ashlyn Nicole Nicholson Ansley Elizabeth Page Benjamin Kyle Page Helen Joy Posey Joseph Brandon Potts Jordan Ashley Shira Catherine Grace Slayton Mary Elizabeth Slayton Christopher Colby Smith Rowan Kendrick Smith Aaron Trisha Temple
Thomas Charles West, Jr. Kelsey Annette Williams. Samantha Taylor Wolf. Ashley Rihanna Adams. Emma Grace Adams. Jamin Dominic Adkins. Ainsley Nicole Aylwine. Allie Marie Aylwine. Bobby Joe Aylwine. Dakota Michael Allen. Jackson Gregory Allen. Ashley Juanita Amaro. Halen Alexander Armour. Miracle Denise Armstrong. Daya McKay Arne. Michaela Grace Arendale. Casey James Autry. Alcy Calloway Avant. Jarena I. Austin Riley Badley. Logan Blake Bailey. Bardarion Iketric Barnett. Daniel Eddie Barrett. Hannah Page Battles. Claire Marie Baxter. David Shane Bell. Brady Eric Owen Beck. Chase McCord Bond. Noah Wesley Bond. Amber Grace Bridges.
Bradley Allen Bridges. Madison Taylor Bridges. Dragon O'Connor Brooks. Rachel Lynn Brooks. Donovan Isaac Broom. Amaria Kanaya Brown. Jaden Douglas Brown. Ibriana Nicole Butler. Kenneth Isaiah Calloway. Ryan Michael Campbell. Naya Andrea Cannon. Adam Benman Carey. Jesse Alejandro Carrillo. Samuel Robert Coffin. Austin Bailey Chambers. Jacob Nolan Chandler. Destiny Michaela Chatham. Lucas Job Childers. Harley Pauline Coyle. Colby Andrew Collier. Denver Cole Collins. Gracie Michelle Combs. Allison Paige Conger. Hamilton Demarcus Cooper, Jr. Kaya Tatiana Cooper. Mitchell Blake Cooper. Willie Alberto Cornejo. Trinity Ann Cronick. Jason Tyler Cruz. Zoe Neva Crumley.
Hunter Mason Crump. Alexis Armenda Dalton. Victoria Nicole Davis. Kennedy Renee Dixon. Jemiah Chanel Dooley. Caitlin Nicole Drake. Matthew James Dukes. Chans Demetrion Dunn. Andrew James Arkley Ebelobo. Justin Anthony Everhart. Adam Randall Eccles. Lacey Victoria Edwards. Joshua Luke Elrod. Anthony Brandon Epps. Scott Charles Fagan. Thomas Dusty Farmer. Kendra Tatiana Faust. Valerie Kimberlin Fielder. Christopher William Finnegan. David Anthony Fortson II. Ethan Blake Fortson. Felix Anthony Fortson. Jacob Elijah Foster. Carly Sue Foster. Kylie Michelle Foster. Landon Rice Foster. Matthew Bryce Gabriel. Summer Rose Gaines. Tamaris Lee Gaines. Willie Albert Gaines.
Joseph Aiden Lee Galvan Bond. Clinton Henry Garrett. Garrett Thomas G. Jaden Blaine Gillespie. Kaylee Ann Goldman. Yasmin Gonzalez Rodriguez. Trinacus Latre Grant. Sierra Kelly Gray. Journey Walker Green. Michael Blake Haggard. Destiny Alexis Hale. Elena Catherine Hanley. William Elijah Heath. Jonathan David Heredia Ruiz. Karina Hernandez Mercado. Daniel Bryan Highfill. Jackson Mackenzie Hutzel. Sylvia Elaine Horn. Muke Bludo Two. Ethan Sky Hughes. Fisher Jonathan Ivy. Elijah Dylan Jones. Tanner Chastain Jones. Camden Steele Jordan. Anna Isela Jorge. Austin Jerry Shane Kearns. Autumn LePage King. Joshua Cole Kitchens. Robert Eugene Close. Taylor Nicole Knight.
Jesse Alexander Krill. Natalie Page Laflamme. Kristen Michelle Lapsinski. Jonathan Michael Kyle Ledford. William Caleb Lee. Cody Chastain Lemons. Abigail Lynn Lycan. Travis Hamilton Lipchinski. Amber Leanne Lipscomb. Ashton Leanne Lord. Faith Deshawn Lucas. Trinity Deanne Lucas. Bradley Russell Martinez. Maria Carmen Martinez. Andrew Jared Matheny. Daniel James Matheny. Hayden Douglas Maddox. Poe Mall. Laura Catherine May. Memphis Caleb McCoy. Samantha Ray McDaniel. Jamelia J. McPherson. Abigail Reese Meadows. Trinity Cartesia Merritt. Camden Andrew Miller. Lexi Lee Minish. Ricky Adolphus Mitchell. Chasen Russell Allen Mahler. Caitlin Nicole Moon. Jarrett Paul Moore.
Nicholas William Moss. Alanson Noelia Munoz. James Michael T. Murray. Brady Austin Nicholson. Samuel Martin Olds. William Joseph Olds II. Hey Mu U. Justin Lee Thomas Owens. Anna Arlay Padilla Betancourt. Matthew David Parker. Jaden Grace Parsons. Zacchaeus Tyree Pascal. James Matthew Patterson. Zoe Leela Patton. Emily Michaela Paul. She Paul. Lucia Perez. Christopher John Perez Rico. Denver Lane Phillips. Taylor Alyssa Pitts. Bilka Patricia Pompa. Jonte Damon's Pope Jr. Evelyn Portillo Onofre. Tyler Matthew Prather. Brandy Nicole Price. Amelia Rain Priest. Emily Rose Pulliam. Amy Ramos. Keely Rebellyar. Ethan James Reeves.
Jalen Cameron Richardson. Abigail Grace Roberts. Andrea Prince Rogers. Stephanie Ann Ross. Tyler Remington Royston. Jasmine Elidy Rudin. Marco Antonio Salgado Tehran. Matthew Hunter Samples. Blanca Erismel Sanchez Garcia. Mason Patrick Savage. James Levi Schaefer. Alexandra Sky Marie Scoggins. Reagan Caroline Siebel. Logan Richard Seagraves. Ryan Michael C. David Andrew Sinclair. Keith Caleb Sexton. Jacelyn Kennedy Sexton. Brantley Austin Seymour. Roy Austin Shedd. Dawson Wayne Shellnut. Howard Valente Simpson Jr. Trenton Kelly Slayton. Brianna Nicole Smith. Caleb Ryan Smith. Cameron Rebron Smith. Caitlin Elizabeth Smith. Roman Anthony Satovia. Joseph Stipe. Garrett Michael Stevens.
Brittany Leah Strickland. Cohen Bannister Strickland. Soby Ralph Strong. Alexis Tehran. Chelsea Tehran. Johan Tehran. Sarah Caitlin Thomas. Shelby Elise Thomas. Alexi Lynn Thompson. McKinley Lauren Tittle. Clayton Michael Talbert. Cameron Elizabeth Tristler. Jacob Elijah Tucker. Andy Froyland Ballas. Matthew Keith Varnum. Jennifer Rosa Velazquez. Grant Alexander Walls. Emma Frances Walsh. Devin Monteries Walton. Calvin Lawson Ward. Demias Devante Watt. Caleb Jimmy Watts. Megan Brooke Weaver. Justin Robert Weeks. Joey Hamilton West. Samuel Jacob White. William Harris Whitehead. Sierra Michelle Wiatrowski. Gabriel Ty Willard. Brittany Michelle Renee Williams.
Douglas Jaquise Willingham. Susan Ashley Wisco. Madison County Board of Education members and Mr. Williams, I certify that these students have met all the requirements set forth by the State Board of Education and the Madison County Board of Education. I now declare that these students, the class of 2020, are official graduates of Madison County High School. Congratulations.